N95s are the most protective option for face coverings. But to make the right choice, you need to know a few basics about what they protect against, how to select the right type, and identifying counterfeits. I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety, and today I'm going to be answering some of the most asked questions about N95s so that you can make the best choice for yourself. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. To start with, N95s are actually considered respirators. The N in N95 means it's not resistant to oil, and the 95 means it filters out at least 95% of airborne particulate and aerosols. As respirators, N95s are approved by the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH, which is a branch of the CDC. Those that are used in medical environments are also cleared by the FDA to be substantially resistant to blood and other bodily fluids. In addition, manufacturers may choose to make them to meet ASTM consensus standards. However, this isn't required. A good website will make it clear where they source their masks and the approvals for each. Yes, although the filtration is the same for both, N95s used in healthcare will have a higher level of liquid splash resistance and the corresponding FDA approval. When most people think of N95s, they think of this style, but there are actually quite a few different types. To help compare and contrast the features you typically see, we're going to go over these four. This is a 3M8210 N95. It's kind of the classic N95 and is made in the US. It's got a molded, cup-shaped style and is best for personal or industrial use, since it's approved by NIOSH but not the FDA for resistance to fluids. This is the 3M Aura. It comes in two models. The 1870 is best for use in healthcare, while the 9205 is best for use outside of healthcare. They're both made in the US and approved by NIOSH. These models are made with flexible cloth. They seal comfortably, fold flat, and have a foam panel that reduces glasses fog. In my opinion, they provide the overall most comfortable fit. The 1870 is also approved by the FDA for use in healthcare and has the highest bacterial filtration efficiency according to ASTM standards. These next two actually look more like KN95s than N95s, but they are, in fact, NIOSH approved N95s. This is the PHG N95. It's certified by NIOSH and is made in the US. It has four layers and a dense foam nose cushion which helps with comfort and reducing glasses fog. These two also tend to be inexpensive when compared with 3M N95s because they run about $4 each. Lastly, we have the BYD N95. It's the only mask on this list that isn't made in the US, but it is certified by NIOSH as an N95. It's a four layer mask and is glue free. Although it's not approved by the FDA for healthcare use, it is CE certified and meets EEA standards for use in hospitals in the European Union. There are a few easy ways to tell if an N95 is authentic. I'll have all the links to these pages in the description box below. If it's a 3M N95, they often have a marking on the package that says 3M Safeguard. This is a program 3M has to validate most of their N95s. To check authenticity, you need to find where the codes are stamped on the box. For this model, they're on the bottom of the box. Enter the digits on the Safeguard page. The top number is usually the secure code and the next one is usually the lot. Check the validation and you're done. There's also resources to the right to help you to validate any 3Ms that aren't part of the system. Next, you can check the NIOSH registry. Simply take the TC code that's on the N95 and check it on the NIOSH approved N95 page. Lastly, if you want to check the FDA approval, you can check using the FDA registration and the device listing. It's critical that we consider our healthcare workers first and foremost. Although many N95 stocks have been replenished, still try to purchase N95s responsibly and from vendors that ensure they're able to meet the needs of their healthcare clients first and foremost. If you are purchasing N95s and are not in healthcare, you may want to consider buying those without the FDA approval to conserve them for healthcare workers. 
they're still gonna have the same 95% filtration rate, but just not the splash resistance. Also, don't forget that by protecting yourself and others, you are keeping people out of the hospitals, which in turn helps to protect healthcare workers. I hope today's video helps to answer your questions about N95s. If there were some I missed, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Also, if this video did answer your questions, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later.